Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. Uh, thank you for all the people that have subscribed. I appreciate that. Also for all the new people that are subscribing today, thank you. Um, I, today I decided to bring something uh, that I do on my daily basis when I apply my foundation. So I wanted to show you how to apply uh, liquid or cream foundation on you. Uh, of course using a beauty blender. I feel that that gives you a beautiful finish. Um, so yeah, I will show you how to do that today. Uh, I'll show you the products that I use. I will also put the description down below um, on each product um, in case you are interested on any of those products. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. If um, you have any questions about it, um, if you want to comment anything for me on the you know, comments down below, I will be gladly uh, to answer those questions for you. Okay, now let me know if there's a video you want me to do for you as well. I can definitely try to work on that too. Okay, thank you so much for coming back and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye. Okay, here we're going to start by adding a toner to our face. It's going to keep me mattified throughout the day. This is uh, called Martian by Sunday Riley. Um, and then I'm going to add my moisturizer all over my face uh, by Belief. It's called um, Aqua Bomb. After that, I go in with my primer by Smashbox. It's the photo finish. Um, I keep that on the outer perimeters of my face. And then I go in with my Professional by Benefit right on my T-zone, which is where I have more... Um, you know oily problems there so I try to keep that mattified throughout the day then I grab my Cosmo Cube, uh, cube. it's by um, I got it on Sephora.com it actually is gonna help me uh, put two foundations together since um, I have a light and a dark one and I'm kinda mixing them for to get the correct shade for me uh, then I grab my beauty blender uh, you want to make sure that you get it wet and very very damp um, so you can apply that uh, pretty much in dabbing motions all over your face um, so yeah you keep it going back and forth um, I also go a little bit down your neckline to make sure that there um, the foundation looks seamless and there's no harsh lines in between um, yes these foundations that I'm wearing is uh, by Tarte it's the neutral tan honey and then I also I combine it with my cover effects natural finish oil free foundation um, that shade it was N70 definitely the wrong shade for me so I just completed it you know kind of combined them together All right now I'm doing my uh, concealer this is by Too Faced it's in color uh, fair I put that all under my eyes a little bit by my nose and my forehead um, then I grab my beauty blender and pretty much dab the um, concealer to make sure that it's uh, seamless and very nice blended under my eyes um, yeah if you have if you suffer from dark circles you want to make sure you add a really good concealer I really like this concealer uh, it's very nice and creamy but it's not too drying for under my eyes um, and then after that I grab my um, powder by Laura Mercier uh, my translucent powder I grab my beauty blender again and pretty much set my under eyes uh, to avoid uh, any creasing you definitely want to set uh, anything that is creamy with a powder preferably translucent okay and then I'm grabbing my MAC mineralized foundation powder to just set my face all over I want to make sure that everything sets and stays on all day um, and definitely setting your cream or liquid foundation will help you do that now I'm going to add my bronzer this is also by MAC and it's uh, give me sun um, it's really nice and set on me for me for my skin tone I like it it I don't if I don't want to go and do um, an actual contour I just like to add a little bit of bronzing to give me a little bit of color and warmth to my face I just keep that on the outer perimeters of my face, uh, kind of like the end of my ear. That's kind of my guideline of where to start. And then you bring it forward a little bit towards your cheeks. 
um, yeah that's pretty much how I do it with that then I add a little bit of blush uh, what I'm using right now it's by Becca and it's I just got a small little brush by NARS um, as well it just came on a on the palette that I had and I love it for blush it, I just put it right there I smile a little bit so I can get it more on the apples on my cheeks uh, but yeah that's kind of where you want to place it uh, something a little bit above your actual um, bronze then I'm gonna grab the Laura Mercier again powder and with my beauty blender I'm kind of gonna define the um, bronzer so it doesn't look too muddy um, I want to make sure that it looks nice and clean and everything looks seamless um, to make it seamless I grab my brush I'm using one by Sigma is their large powder F30 to just blend all that in to make sure that the powder is gone and everything looks nice and seamless um, yeah so that's what I do right there then I went and grabbed my highlighter uh, the one I'm using right now it's by Makeup Forever it's the shade in number two it's nice and subtle, nothing too crazy. I grabbed my uh, blending brush by Sigma as well, um, and I used that to apply my my highlighter. I feel like it gives me kind of like the product, the amount of product that I want. Um, so I really, really like it. Then I, I you want to put it on the higher uh, points of your cheeks or higher parts of your face. You can do your nose. You can do your cupid's bow. Um, you know, you pretty much can do anything that kind of looks higher on your on your face. So right there, I'm going to do a little bit of my nose and um, the bridge of my nose and a little bit of my cupid's bow as well to give a little pout to my lips. Um, yeah. Then after that, I'm just going to apply my lipstick. I'm using my lip liner by um, Huda Beauty on Trendsetter. I believe the name is Transetter and uh, pretty much outline my lips and then I go in all over to make sure that the lipstick that I'm gonna wear stays on all day um, I believe uh, the lipstick I will wear today is by Smashbox and it's called Babe Alert it's a really pretty color I really really like it very subtle and very very pretty and yeah, that concludes my look. I hope you guys enjoy watching the video. Uh, let me know in the box down below what else you want me to do for you. Uh, and then other than that, I hope I will see you all on the next one. Thank you. My father told me when I was young to play the fire, be careful, son. But we were flames and fell in love. We burned the cities down, down. Got it.